Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I've been asked a few times about what I think of these Shelter Logic outdoor canvas sheds, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to call this canvas building in front of me, um, and how, how I keep it alive and so forth and all. Um, let's start at the beginning. I bought this thing, I think it was like $159 um, at a flea market, at a Stormville flea market a few years ago. And I think this is either the third or fourth winter. Um, the reason why I got it cheap is the canvas is, um, is thin, quite honestly. Um, you can see it's been patched uh, several places and quite honestly across across the tart the top is all patched up and all so it it's thin and that's why it's cheap it's a 12 by 12 so even for the money I got a I got a pretty good deal on it but see how it's been patched everywhere and you know all across the top um, for what I paid for it, I'm very happy with it. Uh, you can buy this thing as it sits for approximately three, three fifty, something like that. You could get it delivered by eBay. I could get a replacement tarp for it for one forty nine ninety five plus twenty five bucks shipping. So for one seventy five, I can uh, replace the canvas. Um, it works, but one should keep in mind it's a temporary shelter. Um, they, it is not going to last you a long time. I do patch it. You can see that's Gorilla Tape. The patches last over a year, year and a half, two years. It seems that the black Gorilla Tape holds up better than the white Gorilla Tape. Um, you could buy better canvas. Um, and it, it goes from like 150 plus shipping to I think it's 400 to 800 for the really good canvas the stuff that's guaranteed for 10 years um, I don't know you need a temporary building you could put something up I mean if you could you could get a 12 by 12 for 300 bucks 350 and it lasts you for a few years that's not a bad thing my problem is I have a tendency to put these things up and expect them to last forever and that's not what they're gonna do um, I've made good use of this I re recommend going with the wooden platform it keeps it drier inside it keeps the animals out a little bit and it keeps weeds from growing up um, it's also better to have the tires sit on plywood if you're storing vehicles in there than to have the tires sit on dirt so all in all you know I do recommend them once again Gorilla Tape is a way of keeping them alive right there you go the Gorilla Tape um, they're pretty easy to put up you know, a 12 by 12 takes us, takes up the same amount of space, whether it's a wooden building or a um, canvas building. So that's all the same. So, yeah, if you, if you need some temporary shelter, I recommend it. If you want permanent shelter, by the time you buy the better tarp and all that other kind of stuff, the one with the better tarp and all, you're, you're, you're probably better off quite honestly putting up a shed or or a garage I mean you can't this cheap one the tarp started to tear after the first year I imagine the better one you know the tarp starts tearing after three or four years and the best one you, you know somewhere after five six years the tarp is tearing so you know and for the better one you, you can have eight nine a thousand dollars out and once again it's tearing and ripping and falling apart so I would uh, I don't know for a 15 by 15 as you're reaching your way toward a thousand you could build a shed um, but 
once again, it depends on zoning. Some towns let you have as many of these as you want. Um, they don't bother you. It's a temporary structure. Sometimes if you put up a shed, they consider it a permanent structure and they bother you. Your zoning is your zoning and you got to deal with it. Um, so I recommend go buy one and fill it up with all-terrain vehicles before the winter sets in. I want you all to keep your feet down, your heads up, and get out and enjoy it each and every day. Bye now.